Hi, this is Paul from TradingFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Friday, the 1st of February. January is already over. So today I want to look at a multiple time frame strategy using both our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator. I teach this on my Elite Training course, which is on TradingFifth.com. I'll include the link um, in the blog post with this video. So. First of all, I'm looking at FDN on the weekly time frame. I can see this is a really strong growth stock. It's had quite a deep pullback recently on a wave four on the weekly. And we, we look to trade that fifth wave. The entry wasn't really good for me uh, because we'd be entering right now, you know, right about now on the weekly. Uh, but the risk to reward on the weekly to the fifth wave target zone to $160 is not enough. I like a minimum of 1 to 1 1.6. So I have to go down timeframes to, to look for uh, a potential long um, that's going to give me uh, a good move up towards this fifth wave target. Now, obviously, I'm confident in this stock. It's a strong growth stock. It's been growing for years and years and years. It's had a really good wave for pullback on the weekly. Found support in our amber zone. So that's 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high. So again, I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader Trade Station as well. So let's now go, now go down to the daily, and this is where I've um, got the signal. Okay. So on the daily, what does that trend look like on the daily? Well. We've had a bullish trend, a one, two, three, four, five, and we've had a recent bearish trend, one, two, three, four, five. So that pull, wave four pullback on the weekly is actually on the daily time frame a bearish trend, which has just gone below the fifth wave target zone and now moving back up. So if we look at this a little closer, so we've got confidence now from the weekly. We we know this respects good trends on Elliott wave trends on the daily so the next thing is to consider where we are right now uh, we've passed this wave for pivot on the daily time frame from the previous bearish trend once we've done that we can say we're in a trend reversal okay so this uh, backing up our uh, thesis on the weekly time frame where we've got that potential fifth wave move we have now broke up above this wave four pivot from the, this bearish trend on the daily. So really strong bullish momentum building here. So let's have a look at this more closely. Again, we've come from the wave five, we've gone through the wave four um, pivot point there, and now we are through and we got a breakout signal yesterday. So we got the, the gap up yesterday, we've got a nice reasonably solid candle, but it was green. So that was increased volume. We can see the grey and the blue candles here. Part of our black box breakout indicator, they represent neutral, lower. Um, these are all lower. So we can see in volume terms, we had four neutral days. So that volume was coming down every day. Yesterday, we got the big gap up and increased volume. So this is a good start. This is a good sign that we're going to break out. And this is how our black box breakout indicator works. To back that up on our false breakout stochastic, we have the yellow line there denoting a strong bullish trend is forming. We have, for the first time, all of our multiple time frame dots on our dot cloud here, all green denoting. So if we go from weekly, four day, three day, two day, and the daily time frame, all green for the first time. We can see this happened before. When we were in this big bullish move here, we were all green and then we went all red. Now we've gone to Cyan as, as our price action on those different time frames have come through those EMA clouds that we have on our um, multi, uh, on our breakout indicator suite. So we're all gone bullish again. This is really good. Now, what I also want to consider for the entry, our black box breakout indicator has given us 133.70 for an entry. But when I look left, and I always look left, I've got the previous wave one pivot for this move down right at this point. So I want to be above there just to make sure that this bullish move is really, truly on. So that zone is drawn on the chart there. 
So I'm going to enter above there, enter above the whole $134 mark. So my entry for this breakout is $134.04. The stop loss $129.44. So I'm using the stop loss from the breakout indicator that's printed on the chart there. Again, this is a thin cost swim platform, but it works just the same on NinjaTrader and TradeStation. So my first target, my first and only target right now is $144, $143. This is this zone here. So or, this is big resistance zone there. So I've got a one to two risk to reward just to there. Okay. Remember when we looked on the weekly, we had $160 target for the fifth wave target. This is, you know, this is nosebleed stuff. So at this moment, we've got to be realistic. What will happen is we will get a nice bullish move up. We will get resistance at this level. It may pull back. At this point, let's take our profit, wait for a pullback. We may even get a wave four pullback and we'll get in this trade again. When we're doing these trend reversals, we can be intimate with this stock for quite a long time. We can trade this breakout now. If it smashes through the resistance zone, we leave it on. But if it finds resistance and runs out of juice, we take out our profit, wait for a pullback and wait for another opportunity. Because in reality, on the weekly time frame, we want $160 for that fifth wave target. That could take six months and we could be in a couple of trades, two or three trades before that time. But this is that multiple time frame strategy that I teach on my elite training course. OK, so just to remind you, FDN on the daily time frame, entry 134.04. Stop loss 129.44. Target initially $143. So just a little bit of an explanation how I've come about that trade, what I've used. I've used our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on the weekly time frame to, to really determine a strong bullish uh, trend in this stock. It's had a recent wave four pullback. And we want to trade that fifth wave. Now I've gone down to the daily and I've found a breakout strategy that works with some of our basic rules that we talk about um, when we're talking about Elliott Wave. We've used the black box breakout indicator to get that signal. We've got the signal and let's go for it. So have a great trading day. Great weekend. Speak to you all next week.